Hello everybody. This video is about client server networks or peer-to-peer -peer networks. So when you set up a network, you need to make a decision about whether or not you want it to be a client server network or a peer-to-peer -peer network. Both of them have advantages and both of them have disadvantages. So it's purely about your situation and the reasons why you would want to choose one over the other one. So first we're going to look at what is a client server network. As you can guess from the name, a client server network is managed by a server. And just to recap, a server is a powerful computer which has lots of functionality, often used for different reasons. Uh, but in this case, you can think that all of the clients, which are the people that would log in and access the network, they will type in their username and password, and then they will pull all of that information from the server so that they can see everything they need to and have access to certain things. In a school situation, the technician is usually the person who will decide what things people can access from the server, whether they can access certain areas, whether they can access certain software and so on. So as I said, all of the devices that are connected to the server are known as clients. And the client is the person that asks for the data by logging in and then the server responds to that request. So the server stores the user profiles and all of those files are stored centrally. Now, the good things about a client server network is that all of the files are stored centrally, which means that you don't have to take up the storage on one particular computer. And you can, let's say you come in one day and your computer has stopped working, then you can move to another computer and still log in and still access all of your files because they are pulled from the server as you log into that account on that other device. From a technician's point of view, they're really good because you can install software on all of the devices that are connected to it and you can perform updates rather than going to each individual computer to install the software and perform these updates. And as I mentioned briefly, you can set user access levels. So if you think of it from a school, a teacher might be able to see some part of a system that other users, maybe students, might not be able to see something like confidential information, for example. So there are some disadvantages of a client server network. It is expensive to set up and that's because the, you know, the, the actual server itself is going to cost a lot of money. There's going to be a lot of cabling involved and so on. So it is a high cost initially to set up. Uh, you do need an expert. Now when I say expert, I'm referring to a technician, like an IT technician. You will have to employ a network technician to be able to manage that server. And the final disadvantage is that because you're solely relying on that server, if you came in one day and the server wasn't working, then nobody would be able to access those files at all. So the other option is a peer-to-peer -peer network. And you don't need a server for this one. All of the devices are equal in a peer-to-peer -peer network. And because each device is individual, each person's computer is their own and they can store their own files on their own device. So quite often these are used for smaller networks like in a home or a small office and you can still share files between these devices. So for the advantages of a peer-to-peer -peer network, they are easy to set up so you won't need to employ a technician to be able to do this for you. Most people can do it without much training. You don't depend on that server which is often ideal if you just want to come in and get on with your work. You know where to find everything on your own computer. You don't need a login. As long as you're sat at the same place, you can access all of your things and know exactly where everything is. And you can still share files between these devices, which is if that's all you want it to do, then that's all you need. Now, there are some disadvantages of it. If you came in one day and your computer was broken for whatever reason, then you can't move to another computer as your files are not central. So that might be you out of action for the entire day. And because you don't need to log into these devices, they're not as secure. Okay, so we've got some exam questions to practice on this topic. So we've got describe what is meant by a client server network, describe what is meant by a peer to peer network. Mr. Moore wants to set up a network at his house, recommend what type of network he should choose, and then justify your answer. So that justifies what makes it a three mark question. So you would get a mark for choosing the right type of network and then an extra two marks for a correct justification of whichever network you've chosen. And then finally, identify two benefits of using a client server network. Okay, let's go through the answers then. So 
First one, describe what is meant by a client server network. So you would get some marks if you'd said uh, all the devices connected to the server are known as clients. You'd also get a mark if you say a client requests data, the server processes the request and then responds. Then we've got describe what is meant by a peer-to-peer -peer network. So no server is needed. All devices are equal when sending information. Files are stored on individual devices rather than centrally. So if Mr. Moore wanted to set up a network at his house, recommend what type of network you should choose, then justify your answer. So Mr. Moore should use a peer-to-peer -peer network because it is easy to set up, no experts required, and then this will still allow file sharing for easy sharing of files between family members. And finally, we've got identify two benefits of using a client server network. Files are stored centrally so that clients can move to another computer and still access their work. And finally, we can set user access levels, which makes it more secure. So this so users don't accidentally delete or move important work and files on the network. And also you could have said, won't have access to anything confidential that other people might need to have access to. Okay, that's it for this time. See you soon.